Different presidents have added to the White House's leisure facilities. Nixon added a bowling lane, Clinton added a jogging track, and most recently, George Bush added swings and a seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> Missing Words is the final round, featuring this week's guest publication, Volkswagen Camper and Commercial Magazine. <laughs> Their strapline is, home is where you park it. So let's go with day of high drama as what harms a farmer? Llama. Yeah, it's got to be llama. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be llama. It's anything that rhymes. Yeah. Drama, farmer, farmer, llama. Well, it's even that old palmer. Did a palmer ham fall in him from a plane on his way to Rome, on his way to deliver palmer ham to the Pope? That's absolutely it. This is the story of a pensioner who was physically attacked by his llamas. <laughs> <laughs> How much pension is he getting? <laughs> When paramedics tried to rescue the pensioner, the llamas danced round him in a circle and lashed out violently. They've since been offered a contract by the manager of Girls Aloud. <laughs> <laughs> Next, is it time to replace what and what? Ian and Duncan Smith. Yeah. <laughs> or Ian and Paul, perhaps? Yes! <laughs> Unkind. I tried to hope it wasn't from camper vans, but it obviously is. Time to replace your old Volkswagen and buy a new one. No. Uh, <laughs> answer is rear wheel arches and quarter panels. <laughs> yes, this is indeed from Volkswagen Camper and Commercial Magazine. In a two-page article with pictures and easy-to-follow step-by-step diagrams, it offers the following advice. If your wheel arch is in need of replacement, buy a new wheel arch. <laughs> That's right, well, that's why I'm writing down there. Because yeah. <laughs> normally I just go off and buy a toffee apple. But actually, replace it with something. Yeah, that's good. Next, the new Labour Guide to what? Jogging through that heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> go for the burn, world. <laughs> when you start palpitating, get your trainers on. Get out of there. <laughs> Swimming up and down. Use it as a motor. <laughs> Is that it? No, it's hand washing. Is there a series of instructions that go with this? Uh, this is a government leaflet telling us how to wash our hands. Uh -huh. According to a spokesman, 65% of workers in the catering industry are not washing their hands while carrying out basic functions in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Although, frankly, I'd feel happy if they carried out their basic functions on their own time. <laughs> Next. Beck's named the fifth biggest what? Beer. Favourite spam. <laughs> Is the correct answer? Standard. Yes, yes, it is. A correct answer. That's fantastic. Yes, you, you got a point. David Beckham has been named the fifth most popular Spaniard. Coincidentally, his wife has been named as the fifth most popular Spice Girl. <laughs> <coughs> Beckham's only been there a few months, but he already has a vocabulary of more than a hundred words. All he has to do is learn them in the Spanish. Oh, bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> Was that a joke about David Beckham not doing English very well? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, a VW is not a VW without what? The letters VW. Yeah. Without an engine. Without a German. A sunroof. This is an article in Volkswagen Camper and Commercial magazine in which Hugh Francis reveals the hard choices he faced when he found his van had a leaky roof. Buy a top-of-the-range new roof, expensive. Fit a tin roof, lots of work. Repair the existing roof, tricky. <laughs> Or he could make some friends. <laughs>